problem 11.14. So we have a ball that starts rolling in this flat area. It then goes up this ramp onto this flat plateau, shoots off over onto what we're told is a game board, and it goes to some distance D. We're told the heights here that uh, these two things are. And we want to find the initial velocity this needs such that it will go six centimeters horizontally. So this will be a projectile type motion. And we, we are going to want to use conservation of energy for a rolling object to find what the speed here needs to be in terms of the speed here. So let's find the speed here first so that we don't have to come back to it. I mean, you could do it in either order, but you'd end up with the you know, expression that you then have to hold around for a bit while you work out what this expression is, whereas you could do this one first and then this one, and you know the one you did before plugs into the second one. You know, either, either order is going to be fine. So the initial... The initial speed falling off of this in the vertical direction is going to be zero. So the uh, going back to I think chapter four for projectile motion and things of that nature, the time of flight is going to be two h two over g. Then using another of our projectile motion equations, we're going to get, using this, we're going to get that v squared will be g d squared over 2h2. So we know what v squared is going to be uh, up here on the plateau. It's also worth noting that this is going to be the radius of the ball squared times its omega squared up here. We'll need to use this in a second. So we need the initial kinetic energy at point P, because we're going to call you know this height zero, so it has no potential energy to begin with. We have one half MVP squared plus one half moment of inertia times its omega squared. At P, this is going to be one half M B squared, this B squared, plus one half I omega squared. Solving this for omega will give us what we put in here. Plus MGH1, because that's its height up here, so it you know, goes up a distance of H1. And so we know that the moment of inertia for a solid sphere is two fifths mr squared. And then putting this and this in, and the fact that omega p is going to be vp over vr, we'll find gd squared over 2h plus 10g h1 over 7 would be equal to vp squared. And so plugging our numbers in here and taking the square root, we see that our initial center of mass speed of the ball has to be 
1.34 meters per second. 